A lot of barbers have came and went, but guess what? The shop is still here. We still keep going regardless. Everyone won't always fit the mold here of what we're trying to do. We're only looking for people that fit the mold, and you have to have work ethic. We keep posting the we are hiring, but that's not enough. I got to come come out and communicate and let y'all know what it is that we're looking for here. And I think the number one thing is good character and hustle. You got to be willing to learn. That has to be like... That has to be like a primary thought in your mind when you come here. You got to be able to take criticism too. Like don't have thin skin. We all keep it real with each other here. If I'm messing up, then I'm messing up. You know what I'm saying? I constantly ask the people here how I can be better because like I want to constantly improve. Self-improvement is very important to me. Oh yeah, and if you're watching this on uh if you're watching this on Instagram, hit that little heart down there. Because it'll help us out, more people can see and share. Share this, you know what I mean? Like even if it's not like necessarily some content that you that's for you, you know, it might be for somebody that you know. So hit that share button or hit that thumbs up button, hit that heart, hit all of that so we can reach more people. We've been through a lot here. We are resilient. If you if you look at the core people that are here at Fade and Full right now, take a ride around where me, Vega J, and Mr. West come from. It ain't Elmwood. It ain't, it ain't nice and sunny. We don't want anybody around that's gonna be lazy. When you look at the people that leave, usually that's the common denominator. You can look and be like, yo, man, all these barbers have came and went, and it's, you know, the common denominator is you. Nah, the common denominator is that they didn't have work ethic. If you really ask them and unpack the reason why they're not here, it ain't us, cause we still going. The shop's still good. The shop's still running. Mm. Kai and Meg, Got into a car accident. We kept going. Mm. They covered up the mural. We kept going. Mm. Two shutdowns. We kept going. Mm. It was hot as hell on her. The landlord wasn't showing us no love. We had to move. We kept going. We kept going. What what more what more can we do to prove to y'all that we are the best and we are the most resilient? I don't know what happens in other shops. I don't care about who left here and went to another shop. I don't care about what shop you came from. When you come here, it's about the effort that you put in here because we are not playing. We don't have time for no weak motherfuckers and we don't have time for no hating motherfuckers and no dirty motherfuckers. And I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Like, yo, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Like, yo, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this and we go hard. It ain't just about me. We, 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 we go hard. And I, I, I feel like Going forward, we, yo, look, don't even bother doing the application or coming here if you're not willing to do what it is that you need to do for you because at the end of the day, you work for yourself. People people been saying, like, yo, I want to open up my own shop. But don't do what it takes to be a good barber. And then when I look back at my life, I never said that. I never ever said, yo, I want to open up my own shop. When you ask me what I want to do, I never said I wanted to open up my own shop. I just, when it was time for me to do it, act of desperation, I had to do it. It was it. Was it. it was. It, I came down here with other intentions. Fade and full meant something else. But we made it. We totally legit. And I learned along the way. If you look at some of my cuts, I'm not giving the best cuts. I don't do things the right and correct way. But I have the wisdom to know that there's other people out here that's nicer than me in certain things. And we build a great team together. So if if you feel like you have something to offer the shop to help us help us be greater, then you belong here. If you just want to come here with some selfish, selfish intentions and you just want to like be lazy and wait for things to happen, this is not the place for you. So don't put move number five in front of move number two. You know what I mean? If you know, if you know that you gotta be here a little early. Post of, post pictures, you know, that's a, that's a way of showing me that you're committed to your own career. Because like, yo, look, here at Fade and Fuck, you know, we post a lot of consistent content. And this is no knock to, this is no knock to anybody. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of it, a lot of it be my cuts. I don't always want it to be like that. It's nothing for you to take out your own phone and do your own videos and take your own pictures. And then we just post them on the shop page. You know what I mean? You gotta be committed to your own career, man, period. You're selling a service. Nobody's gonna know that you're providing it if you just sit around. So you gotta be committed, committed 
to yourself first and foremost, man. I think that's the I think Mr. West, I think that's the key thing that we gotta drive home, man. Cause like trying to trying to get people to be like, you know, go hard for the shot. Go hard as a team. Go hard and you know, it's not resonating. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be committed to yourself, man. Cause sure. I feel for real, cause we like we're we're good as a team, but it's because we're individually strong. Like Voltron. Yeah, we form like Voltron, man. I'm just the right foot. <laughs> and like how you look and present yourself is part of marketing, man. I think this might be my new image. You know what I'm saying? Wearing this with my joints in there. Yeah. And doing these videos and talking to you. That I feel like that's you know, it's something that works for me. May you know, maybe it you know, maybe it may or not may or may not work for you, but you have to find a way to market yourself with you know, business cards, talking on camera, using social media, talking to people in real life. You know, I printed up a bunch of stickers. <laughs> you know, hanging them joints, sticking them joints up everywhere to the point where they're trying to charge me with vandalism. 